Hello friends, welcome to Reads and Eats. My name is Fiona. I hope, I'm glad that you've clicked my video today and I hope you enjoy it. I'm taking this idea from Tammy from Believe in Yourself she, and a few others who have been doing a book, books on my bookshelf that I haven't read yet and I thought, I like that idea. And I thought, oh, probably get a few. I knew had a few. Yeah, I've got more than I thought, but that's fine. And normally I like to have all the, my unread books read before the end of the year. That's not going to happen, okay? Um, I know that's not going to happen. I'm, I'm actually fine with that, that I will have books that I will carry over. So I've kind of split them up into some categories and I'm going to do different videos for each category. You can see there's another little pile just peeking there. That's for another video in fact. Let's see if I can angle this. There you go. So you, so you don't get sneaky peeky. <laughs> um, but this one as the, the title suggests, these are Christmas books I haven't read yet. Would I like to get them read before Christmas this year? Of course I would so I could get new ones which I will be getting new ones. But if I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. It's like, yes, I've got these and I will get them read and I will love them and enjoy them. And that's the most important thing. So the first book I have, which is actually a, is a new one to me. It's a, well, it's, it's new to me as in I've just recently received it. I bought it and it's the third book in a series. And that is Christmas in Crinkly Creek by Laurie, Laurie Beach. I've read the first two in this series really really enjoyed them so i wanted to see what the third one was was like and that the fact there's a christmas one just fantastic then i have his christmas gift by sarah maybury um i won a giveaway that she was doing and i used some of the the proceeds of that giveaway it was a, an amazon gift card so i used it to buy one of her books so i'm looking forward to that I'm not going to tell you anything about these books because as I say I don't know and I, I quite like going into my, my Christmas reads blind. Then I have Wishing on a Christmas Cowboy by Sarah Richardson. This is part of a start of the Star Valley series. Never read any of the series, don't even know what number this is in the series. I know I can hear Sarah going, Fiona you need to read them in order. Sorry, it's the only one I've got, Sarah, so I'm going to read it. If I like it, I'll get the rest, I promise. Then I have Sugar Plum Way by Debbie Mason. I think this is number four in a series. Yeah, okay. Yes, I can hear Sarah already going, what? <coughs> Again, I will read it if I like it. I will get the, the first one, first one, first three. I then have a Love Inspired Classics. Um, Harlequin, this is November 06. So we've got The Best Christmas Ever and A Mother's Love by Cheryl Wolverton. I have never heard of her. This this is one that was sent to me, I think, by Lizzie from Lizzie Fay Loves Books uh, as part of a wee, a wee gift package. So I'm really looking forward to this. I, think, I don't know if they're historical. I'm not sure, I don't think so, but I'm looking forward to reading that one. I then have another, um, actually the rest are all Harlequins, which is quite nice. Um, I have an inspirational romance, October 2022. And this is Second Chance Christmas by Betty St. Amant. Amant? Amant. So, love the dog on that cover. Oh, just delightful. Then I have a bind up, um, which is this is a Mills and Boone historical. I've got a Western Christmas Homecoming by Lina Banning, Laurie Robinson, and Catherine Albright. So the star the stories are In Christmas Day Bells by Lina Banning, South Snowbound in Big Springs by Laurie Robinson. And Christmas with the Outlaw by Catherine Albright. So looking forward to, to reading those. These look like historicals. So, mind you, I've just said it's an historical, haven't I? Duh. So yeah, looking forward to that. <clears throat> and then the last Christmas one is Special Edition, October 2023, number 30312, 30, 30212. The Christmas Resolution by Kaylee Newell. So 
Those are all my Christmassy ones. I'm looking forward to those. Yeah, there, I know there are some Christmassy ones in, an, in another category, but they all kind of go together in a series, so I just decided I was going to leave them there. Um, but yeah, so that's some of my Christmas books that I have to read. Don't ask me about my Kindle. Please do not ask me about my Kindle. Um, I may do a what's on my Kindle and scare myself sometime. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good at all. But hey ho, never mind. As, as, as the saying goes, you can never have too many books. So that's what I'm going with. And also it's not hoarding of its books. So, yes. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you read any of the books down below? Please let me know. Do any of the one do any of them take your fancy just from the cover? I would love to know. If you want to buddy read any of them with me, again let me know. I'm sure we can work something out. But until my next video, friends, stay stay safe and happy reading. Bye!